What is going on, Ants Canada fans, subscribers, all of you guys out there? Of course, it's your boy, Ants Canada, Mikey Bustos here, bringing you another video. It's been a while since I've released a video. Um, and some of you guys are like, where did Ants Canada go? You're writing on my Facebook and saying, uh, you know, do an ant video. And so here I am making an ant video. Of course I didn't leave and abandon the ant world. Stop the rumors. Um, <laughs> I've just been really busy here. Um, in terms of myrmecology, I've been, uh, right now I'm currently working with a museum and helping them build their very first ant nest exhibit, which is a dream collab of mine. I'm collabing with engineers and carpenters and the curator there um, and some scientists as well. Um, and I'm building them an ant nest based on the design of the ant nests and formicaria at antscanada.com and so yeah i haven't gone anywhere of course hello the one who brought you ants canada and all these videos and ant books and ant songs and ant live show ant love doesn't just disappear just like that and i wanted to create this video on ant social media <laughs> well i guess in a way i know all of you guys out there are really techie you guys play uh, computer games you're on youtube facebook twitter well did you know that ants have been using twitter for millions of years hmm. how so well let's start each ant has their own profile uh, page kind of um, on their exoskeleton their exoskeleton has uh, carbon compounds on their body and every colony has its own unique i guess ant scent um, so when you see ants come meet, meet each other, they kind of feel each other with their antennae and what they're doing is they're trying to see if that other ant is uh, part of their colony. Um, and if they are, you know, they're like, all right, verified. And so how do they use Twitter? Well, in the ant world, Twitter posts are like pheromone droppings, I guess. Um, the way ants communicate, of course, um, is not through voice like humans. Um, but they do communicate through pheromones, which are basically chemicals created by their body that they lay on the ground or in the area, you know, um, to relay messages. And so uh, where do these pheromones come from? Well, they either come from glands underneath the body um, and also uh, from their gaster. They just kind of like leave it. And if you look carefully at an ant that just discovers food, you'll see it um, usually get excited and it'll start laying pheromones um, everywhere in the area. Um, and that's its way of doing a Twitter post. So um, in the ant world, one a pheromone is like a Twitter post. <laughs> it's a specific message, a specific uh, pheromone that's laid on the ground. Um, and when another ant comes by, it reads the Twitter post. Uh, the ant Twitter post. And that ant has the choice to retweet that Twitter post if it wants. Um, you know, and in effect, it'll retweet by releasing the same pheromone. Um, and this is how messages get relayed across to an entire colony of ants in a very quick time because of this Twitter system. And in the ant world, just like on Twitter, there are trending topics. Hashtag, there's an enemy outside of the nest. Hashtag, someone just found some really good food just uh, two meters away. You know, things like that. Hashtag, it's nuptial flight season. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, trending topics all the time in the nest um, because of this pheromone um, retweeting, you know? Um, so it's really funny then that ants have been using Twitter, their version of Twitter, for millions of years. And we just decided to, we thought we came up with this idea now, <laughs> when ants have been doing it for millions of years. So that's my video, guys. Thank you so much. Visit AntsCanada.com for any information you need. Um, and for those of you who are just new to Ants Canada um, and the channel um, and new to ant farming, you guys must, must, must pick up the book that I wrote on uh, keeping ants. It's the ultimate ant keeping handbook. Um, every ant keeper should have it, even if you're um, advanced. It's got tons of stuff in there. It's got an ant dictionary, which I spent hours putting together on all and any ant terminology. Um, it's got uh, a breakdown of specific commonly kept species, you know, where to find them, pictures of them, 
um, you know, uh, when to look out for queens, how to take care of them, what their moisture preferences are, even, you know, uh, specific things about their biology um, of, spe of specific species. So really, you, you, I think you should definitely get the, the handbook. It's a digital handbook. So once you pay for it on PayPal, an, a link is sent to you and you can start reading and enjoying the handbook. And if you uh, have Ant Love, it's definitely a must get. Um, in terms of products for Ants Canada, what are we doing? Well, I am having a hard time um, in terms of mostly uh, just shipping details. I don't want um, people, especially our customers in the U.S., paying as much for shipping as the product. So um, what I'm thinking of doing is probably bringing back the classic um, frame and farms because they're a lot easier to transport um, and a lot uh, more cost efficient uh, to ship as well. Um, in terms of the new design of Formicarium where it's 3D, um, we'll probably come out with that uh, sometime in the future, but my goal right now is to bring back the classic Ant Farms. Um, hang in there, Ant Canada supporters and fans. I know you guys have been waiting for the store to open, and I'm really, really sorry. Um, I don't know a date as to when uh, our products will be available, but of course, um, top of the line and keeping uh, equipment, you, you can always expect that as soon as the store does open. And thank you guys so much for supporting us. Um, the current uh, product available is the handbook, so be sure to pick that up because believe me, it'll really help you a lot. It's just basically everything, all my ant knowledge, I tried to put it into this like handbook <laughs> for anyone who wants to keep ants. Um, so I guess that's it. Thank you guys so much. And Canada signing out. Bye.